Hi and welcome in this video, Bradak, to all my Swedish watching uh, friends right now. Bra, bra, bra. And uh, today I talk about the best video editing software, or to be honest, about three. And I try to compare them and give you a great overview, which may be the best for you. My name is Benjamin Jaworski, photographer and adventurer. Ten years ago, I started to teach myself photography. Today, I travel the world as a professional photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, mistakes and tips and join me on my photography adventures. In each video, I give a shout out to a nation watch my videos and today it was Sweden. If I should give a shout out to your country, just write me hello and goodbye in your language down below in the comments and hit thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, everything else. So today I give a quick comparison about the different uh, cutting video editing softwares out there that I used in the past and my opinion about them. So let's get over. To the computer. I have three programs now that I want you introduce to and two of them are only for Mac. I use a Mac now for I think seven years or something or six years and uh, I have no idea what's out there for Windows but yeah just write in the comments if you have any suggestions or tips for nice software for video editing for Windows computer maybe uh, even similar. So the first program is iMovie and I cut it a lot of videos with iMovie. I think over 300 when I was working for radio station as a radio host and we did as well a lot of videos and uh, I cut a lot of videos and filmed a lot of videos and hosted a lot of videos <laughs> as well and we did almost everything with iMovie because it was first simple sexy and yeah uh, for free on the computer already so when you have a Mac you have iMovie already installed on your computer um, it has a very simple surface when you just um, uh, in the surface you can see that you already have some nice animations up here you already have some backgrounds and you you have your timeline down here you have your cutting window or replay window up here and I now just added some sequences and that thing here just took me maybe yeah one minute less than one minute because you can everything just drag and drop in that window so when you want a title or anything you can just delete the old title just go over that thing you see the animation you like the animation you just drag it onto your video and then you can actually just write whatever just uh, video and then just go to the beginning of the clip hit space you can see it's a nice animation to do that in another program like in Primary for example you need like one hour of tutorial and then try and error and then fail and then rendering and all the stuff and in iMovie it's very very easy um, but of course you have some disadvantages as well because you only have two rows of cutting so you see now one row is here this is my cutting sequence and then you have that top row here and those are the only rows that are possible why is that important yeah let's say I just want to drag that clip and drag it over the next clip it's not possible anymore so when I have two cameras for example and sync the audio for that um, and want to switch between the cameras that would be possible because I have two rows but when I now want to add some cut scenes or b-roll or anything it's not possible anymore without deleting another scene for example but everything is drag and drop you can just do it like this do it like that you can make a clip longer, you can make a clip shorter, so it's very easy to use. You as well have free audio footage in iMovie, you have sound effects, you have some nice music that you can use for YouTube and stuff, everything for free in that program, and you have some nice transitions as well. I just added here a free transition. So it's just a simple transition, and it's just drag and drop. You don't have to have any knowledge of cutting or anything just do it because it's so simple and everything's very clear and you have big fonts and big titles and everything yeah just a simple very sexy program then i used final cut pro for a longer time and final cut pro is like the iMovie for pros you can actually say it's just for mac as well so not for windows and when I now want a clip, I just take the clip, drag it in the window as well. And as you can see, it almost looks like iMovie, but you have more options here in the whole window. Just as mentioned, it's an iMovie for Pro. You can just take several clips and drag them over each other. And now the advantage is you can take another clip and just drag it over the clip. So you have more rows, you can 
do it in an easier way than an iMovie, but as well in iMovie it's sometimes a bit sketchy. So when you want to drag a clip and then it drags to there and then it adjusts to there and it's sometimes not there where you want it to be and sometimes it's bugging and it needs a lot of hard drive space because it makes a lot of copies. Uh, the same with iMovie. You can watch very fluid and cut very fast and fluid, um, but that's because it does a lot of rendering in the background and makes a lot of copy files in the background. It can happen that when you have a big project that your hard drive gets full only from the one project of filming. So that's a bit annoying with Final Cut and with iMovie as well. But the same like in iMovie you have all the pre-adjusted things, you have like titles but more titles, you have more effects, more audio effects, you can do color grading better than in iMovie. Um, you have a lot of plugins on the market to do great things like motion tracking, very easy. Um, it's more like a playful way of video editing in Final Cut, what I like a lot about Final Cut. But it has as well some disadvantages like I mentioned already and a big disadvantage for me is the team project uh, management and as well to work with other people with other systems not Mac systems and that's why actually we use Primary now. And Primary as you can see is a typical Adobe program. It has a lot of windows, small titles and a lot of options and yeah opportunities to work with but you have to understand those opportunities and that takes a lot of effort and is quite not that playful like with a, a Final Cut or iMovie software. But we work with that program because you can just like in Final Cut use a lot of rows and when I usually cut, I cut in a lot of rows. So I can just take now the clips, you can do the same in Final Cut but I now just do it for demonstration that I have more rows now in that project. I can just take one clip and drag it over the other clip and drag the other clip over the other clip and drag it over the other clip and take as many rows as I want it to have. So I can just do it like this, do it like this. That's how I usually cut. Don't look for that down there. That's not necessary. That's how I usually cut. So I don't do cuts and do everything in one row. I usually drag things over each other because it's more fun and I can make things longer or shorter however I need it for the music or for yeah, the, the timing that I need in the movie I'm making. And that's what I like about Primary and you have the same with the audio. You can do like 10 audio or 20 audio lines and you can say everything on line 4 is only for SFX and everything on line uh, 6 is only for music and line 7 is only for audio for talking and line 8 is for whatever you want to use it for. And the same with the video lines or rows. You can take adjustment layers which is a great thing in Primary as well. So just like in Photoshop make an adjustment layer. It's empty, it's invisible, but you can make changes on that invisible layer and it affects everything which is beneath that adjustment layer. And that is a great thing as well. And as mentioned, you don't have the rendering thing like in Final Cut, so you don't have the big project files. We usually cut from external drives with a project. We can exchange the projects over servers, uh, over a NAS system for example, and work with different computers on the same project with different persons and as well with different different systems. So a Mac user can work together with a Windows user and exchange the project and make some changes for example. So one person does color grading, one person does uh, whatever After Effects stuff and one person does the raw cut and one does the fine cut and so on. So it's more of a professional software and you have many options that you need to understand and sometimes it's quite confusing to understand the complicated program and what you can do like I mentioned in iMovie with just one click. Sometimes in Primary you need like uh, yeah one hour or half an hour um, to do the same effect and that can be annoying but that's just what the program is and um, yeah we're using this right now because it gives you all the options that you need as a professional video editor. But as a beginner I would definitely recommend you iMovie then when you are more advanced Final Cut Pro and when you are on the limits in a program then sometimes it's good to just switch a program or directly um, into Primary. Um, both of the programs cost money. Um, this is only available with the subscription model uh, by Adobe. This is only available uh, by just <laughs> paying one price in the App Store and iMovie as mentioned is for free. That was my quick overview of the programs I used in the past and still today for video editing. What is your favorite 
video editing software? Write it in the comments below. And quick commercial, if you are interested in learning how to edit videos with Primary, check out learnfromben.com. This is my website and there's a full course about how to cut videos with Primary. Learnfromben.com. And I see you in the next video. Adieu, wie says the snart to all my Swedish friends. I hope you understand what I just said and it was nothing dirty. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.